This is Declan of the Unqualified Film Bros Podcast, here to do a rapid review of Book of Boba Fett Episode 2, The Tribes of Tatooine. George Lucas, the type of guy to be like, Jabba the Hutt is the daimyo of Tatooine, and his second in command, Bib Fortuna, is his major domo. And now all of us Star Wars fans have to live our lives saying sentences like, Book of Boba Fett is the story about how Boba Fett became... <sighs> The Daimyo of Tatooine. So on the whole, this was a very good episode. However, I would say that its second half was stronger than its first half. The first half felt kind of like it was going through the exact same motions as the first episode. A lot of similar locations and similar characters and conflicts. Boba Fett isn't getting respect from the people he should be getting respect from. The introduction of Jabba the Hutt's potential successors is interesting, but I felt that the two characters weren't on screen enough for a fully... for us to become invested in, in them yet. As well, the mayor, I'm sure he'll become more compelling and more interesting, but we'll have to see how that goes. I feel that the episode really picked up in its second half. At First, I thought it felt a bit like Boba Fett was going through the same motions of, you know, forming a stronger connection with this tribe of Tusken Raiders and so on and so forth. But then it came to the action scene on the Spice Train, and that I felt was really compelling. The Star Wars Disney Plus shows generally have had really solid action. That's been a, I would say, a major highlight, and this was no exception. I was honestly surprised at the really good stunt work and effects that went in, into it, and I felt like it was really cool and exciting. And then it got to the scene where Boba Fett was speaking to these spice spunglers and giving them their lives in exchange for the toll that they now have to pay when traveling through this desert. I felt like this was a really good character beat, and starting to show just what Boba Fett is feeling and why he's actually doing what he's doing in the show. And I found that really compelling. And then the show had him go on his lizard trip, as we should call it. It was already a really funny joke, having the lizard just suddenly jump into his nose, like that was, that was a great joke. But then the montage of him walking to the tree, as it flashed back through his life, it felt really cool to see. I don't like that I'm this much of a fanboy, but even just the flash of seeing Boba Fett in his original armor is pretty awesome. But also getting a real sense of Boba Fett's entire life, I felt ma made Book of Boba Fett start to feel like the story of Boba Fett and not just the story of this new character. Not to say that he didn't feel like Boba Fett in the, in the previous episode or anything like that, but it just felt very stealth-contained. Here, though, I felt like the show was putting itself in the entirety of Boba Fett's life, and that is really exciting for me. That was what I feel was the key to the second half success compared to the first half, where I felt like we were getting more of the entirety of Boba Fett's character, and I felt the show was becoming more compelling. I'm hoping that the remainder of the episodes are as compelling as the second half of this episode, and I hope that the plot elements introduced in the first half become exciting as as well. This is definitely a good episode and I'm still excited to see where the series develops from here. This has been Declan of the Unqualified Film Bros Podcast. Have a good day.